We are pleased, as always, to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Baltimore Ravens. It is fielded right at the goal line. And they're going to bring it down just past the 15 and a flag down as well. It didn't take long to see our first penalty of the game, did it? We always talk about everyone wanting to get into the game in a hurry. The officials did as well. They'll start with the option. And whoa, he's going to hope that that is not a sign of things to come. A rude welcoming to this ball game. It's a loss of four on that first play, and it's second down. But sometimes that option can get bogged down before the gears really even get into motion, and I think that's what we saw there. And I think what he saw, he saw defensive bend right in his face because he looked up and he was right there. Didn't even have a chance to get going. First carry for the former Buckeye, J.K. Dobbins. And space opened up a bit. He's able to take this up past the 10. So that one will get him halfway to the first down marker. Seven yards makes it third and seven now. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. That was their first third down try of the game and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. Fourth down and out comes Jordan Stout here to punt. It's fielded at the 45. That'll go as a 39-yard punt. Give him nine on the return. And the Bengals will take over in terrific field position. First down, here's Burrow. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. On the ground, this is Joe Mixon. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. No luck whatsoever there on the draw. Yeah, they're supposed to use their aggressiveness against them. That was the hope. But maybe they had too big of a meal last night. A half step slow, and he ends up running right into the meat of the defense. On third down, Burrow. And the defense has it covered. It's intercepted. It's Chuck Clark picking it off. The drive will start with an option going left. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. A quick first down pickup. Good start after going three and out on their opening drive. And this, I mean, it's certainly something to watch out for. He is not afraid to call his own number on plays like that. And here he takes it for good yardage. And we know this defense prepared all week for this, but sometimes when you see it in person, it's a whole different ball game. And all that preparation, it goes right out the window. Jackson's throw complete there to Beckham. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Jackson on the give to Dobbins. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Four yards the pick up, first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Four. 
Throwing now, Jackson on first down. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. And Jackson going to hold on to it again. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Excellent job on the keeper. 20 yards and a first down. Well, I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. They'll go again with Dobbins. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. The first drive this unit had, they putted. This drive, much more polished, just looking crisper, aren't they, moving the ball? Maybe the first drive was a little bit of a wake-up call. Probably a little bit angry that they had to punt the ball away the first time they had it. Got motivated, got to the sideline, said, okay, let's not let that happen here as we take over again. They'll get forward for three down to the 16-yard line. When a drive goes this long, you have to give a lot of credit to the guys up front, those big fellas, because the offensive line is putting something together that allows them to continue to control the ball. I know a lot of people think they get fatigued on a long drive. Actually, a lot of times the reverse happens. They actually get energized because they're controlling the ball, and they're the ones dictating to the defense. On second down, a run with Dobbins. And he'll take this one down near the 15. No score after one on EA Sports. Raven football here as we begin quarter number two. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, Jackson. And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. I think that's a good job there defensively. They did allow him to drive all the way downfield, but once they got their backs to the goal line, they really turned up the pressure. Yeah, they let him get all the way down here. Now the field shrinks. They've struggled to convert, and that last incompletion brings up fourth. Tucker's kick is good, and the Ravens strike first at threes in. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you get the ball off, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach turned his defense. The firemen, go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. Touchback, it'll come out to the 25. Cincinnati coming back onto the field here for their second drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, only gave up three points off of that, so it shouldn't be a difficult hole to overcome. It really shouldn't, as long as they're not listening to the chatter coming from the other side, because when you throw a pick, look, I know defensive backs, they have a tendency to be a little bit loud after they take one away but they also have a tendency to gamble a little bit more thinking they'll get a second one. Maybe they can take advantage of that with some double moves. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. 
Hard to move those 300 plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. The Burroughs throw here on target to Hurst. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. And Hayden Hurst, only year as the unquestioned starter, hit 571 yards and six touchdowns for Atlanta. The Bengals, they remembered him when he was a player with the Baltimore Ravens and liked his game. So when they needed a new starter, he was their choice, and he gets them a first down here. And the Raven pressure too much. Down he goes. Sacked on the corner blitz by Marlon Humphrey. Oh, my goodness. Was that a defensive back that got to him with the pressure? <laughs> oh, look at the former defensive back. You're, you're all smiles up here. I hope everybody can hear my smile on that play. After the sack on first down, Burrow. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. Well, partner guaranteed they approached this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Got a man open. It's Chase. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. But you thought you had the defensive stand. Roughing the passer wipes it out. What does every defense talk about? Three and out, right? Thought they were able to get off the field. Not so. A bad time for a roughing penalty. And they get the gift of a first and ten. Now Burrow. Over the middle complete. It, and the ball is knocked out. And it's picked up by the Ravens. And they will take over possession of the football at their 42-yard line. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. So now the Bengal offensive unit back out onto the field. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. They haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. Let's we'll see if they can do better here on this drive. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. Now it's Burrow. And that's caught one more time by Bull. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Now it's Burrow. This goes out wide for Nixon. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Burrow on play action. To the sideline, and wow, what a catch there. He doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get the feet down complete. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Let's just make this one simple. Could he be any more open than he was on that play? Yeah, they lost him going to the outside. Hard to believe because you go through your accounting on each and every defensive snap. Who's got who, what, what defense you're in. That was totally a blown coverage. And he's got Hurst, his tight end. And he is going to have the Bengals first down, and he'll have it by plenty as they're able to keep the drive alive on third and inches. <laughs> to the air again, Burrow. He's got his big tight end. That's Hurst. And he takes it inside the 10 to the 8 before he's out of bounds. 
That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and it'll be second down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. To throw again on second down. Burrow. And it's caught. Touchdown. Hayden Hurst from eight yards out. And the Bengals have moved out in front. For good reason, quarterbacks want to get the ball to the perimeter to the wide receivers for big plays. But in this situation, it felt like based on coverage, he knew that he wanted his tight end to have the football, and for good reason. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. because that's what you get when you put the ball in the end zone. But there are benefits to that type of a long drive. Your defense gets a chance to take a break, adjust a little bit, maybe get themselves ready to get back out on the field and play a little bit better. So they'll take the benefit even though they wanted the six points. Yeah, maybe roll down the other defense. We'll see. Well, there's Sam Hubbard that time in there to bring him to the ground. to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Throwing is Jackson. Looking left side. Andrews with it complete. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Task ahead of him here, needing a full 15 yards to move the chains. On third down, here's Dobbins. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Here's Jordan Stout now. Oh, good move. 39 yards on the punt, just two on the return. And the Bengals will take over here first and 10. The Bengals going to take over late in this first half. Just inside of a minute left, Charles. they got a pretty long field ahead of them. I'm curious to see how they play this. But you would think definitely enough time to at least try to get three out of this. Yeah, you want to move with a nice sense of pace. You want to up the tempo a little bit. But you have to do it with some poise as well. You don't want to go so fast that you hurry yourself into mistakes. There's enough time to put points on the board if they do it right. And even though they have the lead, you know that they would love to extend this lead before heading to the locker room. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing, but as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. And yeah, they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Another catch for him there. This one good for 11. First down. Yeah, 
Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half on as the field goal unit to see about getting three points. So this will be spotted on the midfield logo. It's a 58-yard attempt. And this one will not get there. It's off to the left anyway. It's no good. So that would have been something from that distance, but to no avail. Comes up empty as we have reached the intermission. As it's time now to send you back stateside to Orlando, Florida, and check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. And the Bengal offense ready to go here to start the third quarter. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. Burrow throw. That's caught over the middle by Hurst. Calling a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Second down at four. Here's Burrow. Open man downfield is Chase. He's got it. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Burrow looking to pass. Well, oh, that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. And Burrow going to throw again. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. Punting now is Huber as he sends it away. This is taken at the 15. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Ravens, they'll take over. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And with the way this offense has played thus far, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally because they've done all of nothing offensively in this game, yet they still find themselves in a position on this drive where a touchdown can give them the lead. They need to take advantage of it. They're still looking for that first touchdown here in the third quarter. All they have so far, the field goal. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. It looked like almost a miscommunication defensively because once he decided to keep it, he had pretty smooth sailing. Yeah, it became a question of, wait a minute, who's got the quarterback? And when you talk about miscommunication, it's supposed to be called assignment football on the defensive side of the ball. But if the assignment gets mixed up, that's the end result. And he is going to lose yardage here. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Well, he's had success running the football in this one, and that's undeniable. But that time, the defense was on to him. And partner, I think the more you see him play like this, the more they're able to diagnose it quicker and easier for them to defend it. I think you have to dress it up a little bit and show maybe some different formations and looks. 
Dobbins going to take the handoff on the option. And again, the run defense stout this time. He maybe gets back to the line of scrimmage, but no more. Maybe a gain of a yard that time, but yeah, from the spot, actually no gain. So third and long. And a nickel look here for the Bengals as they try to defend this on third. Now it's Jackson. Trying to get it to Beckham, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Mike Hilton. And the Bengals are going to take over a couple of yards shy of midfield. On first and ten, Joe Burrow to mix it on the check down. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. On second down, here's Mixon. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. 12 yards that time and a Cincinnati first down. That was good tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. Dumps it off to Mixon. And down inside the 15 he goes. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. But he certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game. And there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it. And no adjustment has been made to take it away. From the red zone now, here's Burrow first down. Flush to his right, and he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. Give him a couple on the scramble, it's second down. I sort of like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit, and he gets a small gain on the play. Throwing again on second down, Burrow. Over the middle, that's caught by Chase. So the completion good for seven there. And that will bring up third and one. Before they can snap it, time runs out on this third quarter of play. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The offense on third down tonight, they've converted three out of five thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's gonna wind up incomplete. And this defense definitely in his head there on third down, and he's pretty fortunate. They didn't call for grounding on this one. That was a good 10 feet over everyone's head. So a pressure spot here for Evan McPherson. This will get the lead up to seven. McPherson's kick is good. And they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10 to three. So that gets him a little bit of breathing room, but not much. And you have to think back to the field goal that he missed earlier. This would be a two-score game right now if he had converted them. And if you and I are thinking about it, you know he is as well, because in the back of his mind, he's thinking, I hope I get one more shot in an important spot. He just made that one. He wants one more later to truly make up for the earlier miss. McPherson to send this one away. This take it in at the goal line. 
Baltimore about ready to go on offense. And that last turnover could have proven more costly, but their defense only gave up three. But now answering with a field goal doesn't do them much on this drive. They need to try and find the end zone. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll start out here with the option left. And he'll take it ahead to the 28-yard line. Give him four yards there on the first down keeper. Well, if you're going to run the read option, typically, you've got to keep an eye on the defensive end. And what does that mean? What are you looking for with a defensive end? Well, you want to play off of what he does. If he collapses inside towards the running back, then you pull it and take it yourself outside in. If he stays outside, you go ahead and leave it with the running back. In this case, pulled it and got good yardage himself. And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back, those are the ones you focus on and want to take away. And they've done that pretty successfully in this game. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. Call it a gain of three on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays harder to move it. taken at about the 24-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Bengals take over first and 10. They're passing here, Joe Burrow. A quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. He'll look to throw. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Kyle Fuller. After the interception, here's Jackson. Open man is Duvernay. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Not enough there for a first. No gain, as a matter of fact. And it leaves them at third and one. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time he might actually pop one of these runs. But bottom line is he takes care of the ball well for them, so they keep handing it to him. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. Nothing doing on second and third down after that nine-yard gain on first. Here we go, it's Jackson on fourth down. Open man is Bateman, it's complete. And he is gonna have a Ravens first down as they manage to convert, and that'll keep the drive alive. That's a fourth down pickup of 10 yards and an opportunity certainly missed on the defensive side. First down now, but that clock rolling. 
Jackson. He dumps this off underneath. Here's Davis. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. They drive some people crazy to see those short throws underneath. They've got to find a way to gash the defense downfield. Jackson trying to hustle his unit up quickly to the line of scrimmage. Throwing. Jackson. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. So he's unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark, really start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here, or is it just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. Now Jackson. And this nearly intercepted. Probably should have been. Had he caught it, it would have sealed it. Instead, one more chance coming up on fourth down. Partner, they've got one chance left to keep this one going. And I think for you and me, let's think along with their offensive coordinator now. Has to think back, cycle through every play of this contest, and remember what's worked and what has it. Because right here, he needs the best play of the game in order to keep this one. And it's caught. It's a touchdown. So they rally here in the final minute, and they're an extra point away from tying this game. And while it appears the heavy lifting was accomplished by scoring the touchdown, they're still down one. That extra point is not a gimme. Justin Tucker for the extra point. And no sweat. He puts it through, and we are tied here in the fourth. away and with time to factor here late he'll just take a knee and they'll start things out at the 25 Cincinnati now ready to take the field well partner here it is they've got the chance to win the game you'd have to think they need to get it near the opposite 40 to have a chance to kick a game winning field goal we'll see what they can do and you're right about that because if we look at it in macro that's what it looks like but I think in micro, the head coach has already asked the special teams coach, what is he feeling? What does he think? What does he want the football? What's the yard line we have to get? And he's already relayed that to his quarterback in his offense. They know what the goal is. Now the key, can they get there? Clock rolling here, about to hit 30 seconds. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Burrow. Connecting with Mixon. And not a whole lot there. Maybe three yards on first down. Now another timeout called for by the offense as he'll stop it with 25 ticks remaining on the clock. Here's Burrow. That one take it. And it's a fumble. And it's picked up by the Ravens. And his guys will take over at their own 44-yard line. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their own 44. 
Throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. Work with me, partner. Take a deep breath, because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle, kind of scan the crowd, see if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Jackson to throw. And this is going to be intercepted. And the Bengals are going to have the short field here as they'll take over right at the 50. Now Burrow. Here we go, this to avoid overtime. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. So four quarters wasn't enough, and we are off to overtime. Don't change that dime. And here in overtime, if the team that receives the ball scores a touchdown, it's over. If they don't, we can still have some more football. That's exactly right. If they go down and kick a field goal, the other team gets a possession to either match it or score a touchdown to win the ball game. If both teams kick field goals, the next team to score wins. But if the receiving team throws a pick six or fumbles the ball and gets picked up by the defense and they score, the game is over at that point. And they'll be backed up a bit to start as he's out of bounds at the 16. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And they'll run the option to start the drive. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Jackson running again. Only a yard on the keeper, and it'll be second down. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. Ball at the 33, second and nine. First throw in overtime now for Jackson. Slings it to Anders, and it's complete. The tight end has it. That'll go for a gain of seven. And now that sets up third and two. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to put a third down. Open this team to the line. Now they face this third and two.
offensive lines, the best ones, are guys that play in harmony, in sync, and getting things done. And they did that on that. Yeah, especially on the third and one. In sync, and they were. Victory. 